Good morning, you guys, and happy Wednesday. Check out this storm. Whoa, there's the big cloud. Holy cow, it's so dark. I find it really strange that this camera cannot focus in on the clouds. I guess because it's not like a like an exact surface. I don't know. It's very strange though. It always gets super blurry with these clouds. But look at that. Wow. Yeah, it's going to rain. Ding dang. Oh, it's windy out here. So let's see how this sounds. Ooh, and the wind chimes. It's thundering. It's about to like it's about to pour. But I got a chance to sorry about the wind chimes. I got a chance to mow the lawn. So it's not like 10 feet tall anymore, yay. And then Tim's getting some chlorine on his way home so that the pool will not be green anymore. So double yay. Boo. But yay, yay. All right, it is raining. I mowed the lawn in just the perfect amount of time. Check out that rain. See, this camera is really awesome. It stinks that we have to get rid of it. Ooh, that was some lightning. Oh, okay, I'm going inside. I just wanted to show you the rain. And just like that, it was a pretty short-lived rainstorm. I'm glad I got to mow the lawn before it started raining though, because I wouldn't be able to mow it until it dries out. And that's kind of sometimes like tomorrow. So there is your little weather update. Somebody asked why we show the weather all the time. And um, it's really just to kind of give people an idea of the weather when they're planning their vacations. Uh, that's all. We just want to make sure that they have an idea of like, how rainy or non-rainy it might be. But there you go. That's your daily weather update. What happens when we go to the theme park three days in a row? No, no, look at this pool. I have to clean the pool. I like, showed you guys how it was dirty, but like this really, really showcases just yeah. how dirty it is. Well, it's like a thousand degrees in Florida during the summer. So the, the pools need to be like extra taken care of. Like they don't just take care of themselves. And so, uh, I wasn't taking care of it over the weekend because we were at Disney for three days in a row. And this is what happened. Ding, dang, you guys. Oh no, it's gonna look really nice in like, what do you think, tomorrow? Yeah, it might be later on tonight, yeah. We're oh. gonna shock the heck out of it today. That is so oh, gross. Yeah, that's all just, that's just uh, like green algae it's just from it being hot. Ugh. Yeah. I was just adding some of this chlorine and also there's some shock stuff that had to go in the pool. I was putting the chlorine in that thing. And look at this guy. Can you see him? Mm -hmm. <gasps> He's alive! Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't know he was alive still. That's why I didn't want you to reach inside the, the skimmer. Oh my gosh, what do we do? Well, get him out. Oh, so scary. Oh, right here too. oh my gosh, where? Right here. Oh, why are there so many spiders in this pool? Look at it, you guys. What the heck? What are, is this Australia? No. What did you say? What did it do? It jumped off. Oh, good. They jump now. Wonderful. Show me where you are. Are you singing Mandy Moore? Yeah. All right. Cause I'm missing you like Spidey. Oh, 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 I saw it run. I saw it run. Did you see it run? Yeah, I did. You want me to like get real close? Wow. Oh, he's got babies. Does he? Yeah, he's got Look. babies all over his butt. Oh, you take it. I don't want any part of that. Well, let's see. Do you guys see all the little babies on her back? I believe in you, camera. You're like a lot of money for a camera that you can't focus on it. There he is. All the little babies. Pretty crazy, right? Okay, let me get rid of the spider now. Oh no, not, we're, it's just gonna go up over the fence. We're not yeah. gonna like kill it. Going over the fence. All of your babies and you will be on a vacation far, far away from here. Yeah, bye spider. <laughs> Would you say that excitement is abounding? Excitement is about <laughs> That was crazy. You have to admit, what? I'm glad that we are taking back this camera because that, like, filming that spider was hard. And it, like, with our old Canon, it was easy. Well, it was easy with this camera until you did whatever you did because it used to just find the macro setting right away when you were close to it. Yeah, I know. I switched it to the setting that it was on before when it was doing that and it still wasn't figuring it out. What the heck? I think it had to do with the fact that it was, like, a white or, like, fence behind it or lots of different factors, maybe. I don't know. There's just, like, spiders everywhere. 10,000 spiders. Hold on, I'm trying so hard to like zoom in on it, you can't see it. Like the lighting is not... Oh dear, this camera, it's alive. Sorry, I was like trying to mess with the the, the ISO and everything. It's ridiculousness. I think it's the white balance that I need to do, but I can't, it's not letting me do the white balance. Oh gosh, yeah. I don't like it, I don't like it. Moving around on me, eh? There we go, now we can see the spider. Beautiful. So in case you guys were wondering, apparently in Florida in the summertime, we become infested with spiders. Mm -hmm. So you can look forward to that on your vacation. 
Yay! Look at that dinner. Oh my goodness gracious. We are eating healthy. Who wants to make a bet as to whether or not on the way back from getting a new camera, we stop and get candy. Tim doesn't, cause it'll probably happen. Who's ready for Bojack the Horseman? Tim is. This is my jam. Now that we're all done with dinner and the first episode of season two of Bojack Horseman, which is awesome if you guys haven't seen it, you guys should go watch at least the first season of uh, Bojack Horseman. We're gonna go off to Best Buy and return this camera. Bye, Mr. Sony. You've been good. Not good enough though, sorry. All right, we're walking into Best Buy now. Remember how shaky this image is because it's hopefully gonna get better. Also, the lens cover like stopped working just now on the way in. So on the way into Best Buy, Let's see. Oh, look at this crazy looking sunset looking thing too. The sun behind the clouds. All right, everybody. I... The battery's almost dead already. <laughs> oh no. So here we are in the Canon. Hopefully it's the same kind of image quality, which I think it is. I don't know if I'm set to 720. I don't know if I'm set to 1080. I don't know if I'm set to 60 frames. I don't know. We'll have to find out at some point. But yeah, look, there we are. Let's I, see. There's I Jen. do love that it still has the... Like the flip up screen? <laughs> yeah. It looks awesome. It looks very, very similar to the Sony. So hopefully it, it, hopefully the image is just as clear. I feel like it is. I'll be honest, it feels a lot better than the Sony did. Like it's easier to hold and the buttons for the recording is easy to find. And hopefully it sounds the same. Hopefully the image quality is the same. It, like, it looks like it is. So I don't know, let's see. We'll go home and we'll test it out in some of the dark areas of the house and stuff like that. Right off the bat, I can tell you guys, I really like the way that the Canon feels a lot better. Right now I'm filming in the same exact spot where I first filmed with the Sony so that we can kind of hear what the background noise sounds like. Cause one of the things that we really liked about the Sony is that you couldn't hear like the driving noise and the road noise. All right, quick, tell me if there's any noise and also how was that with focus? Cause I mean, I just turned it on and pushed record. So we'll see how it did. Road noise. Look, there's a cat here. She loves us. Yeah, she does love us. Look, Look at her at little, how, cat, little, little cat head. Look at how clear of a picture this cat is right now. I think the focus is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I, well, it's the same camera, they said. Right. She does love it. Yes. Her, she's a little skinnier now. Maybe she... Lost weight. Well, I wonder what happened. Cause she's not really our cat, so we don't really know what's going on with her. Oh, she's a good girl. I love her. Look at them crazy claws. Yeah, she does have crazy claws. <laughs> Here's my low light test again. There's zero light in here, again, like with this camera as there was before. And I'd say it does pretty good. Like I feel like the light, like the color balance on this is better. So, and also I can do, oh, that was a loud noise. Oh, I can't, can't adjust the exposure setting while it's recording. Ding darn. All right, well, I can turn it off and then turn it back on again and it'll be on the right color setting. All right, the battery's been charging for a little bit. Hopefully it's ready to go. Actually, I feel pretty good about this camera actually right now because I just turned it on, push record, and it is working perfectly. Uh, let's do this. Let's see the sunset right now and see how it looks. Beautiful. Yeah, let's see if I can get it to focus on not me. No, I got it. All right, let's do this. Look at that. So also we have a little bit more zoom on this camera than the other one, which is a good thing for us. And then we can go into digital zoom. So it's not the same as it was on our old camera, but it's still, it's pretty nice. I don't know what it is about Canons, but they're like, they're so like smooth when it comes to image stabilization. I don't know, I could just be walking around and it's just, it's a lot better than the Sony was. And that's the thing, the guy at Best Buy is like, oh no, the Sony has got Olympus image stabilization and it's fantastic, but like, I've got shaky hands. Like, I've always had shaky hands. And this is a lot better than the Sony was. So I wanted to test something out. So this camera has a manual focus on it too, but the ring is like super loud for me to turn so I can adjust. Well, I guess I can't change it while it's recording. I can only do it after I stop. Let's let's try this. Let me try to like get the it out of focus with the manual focus. And then I'll try to like bring it back into focus while we're recording. Let's see what happens. Super out of focus. Let's see what happens if I can get it back into focus now. Does it just hold the focus there and I can't change it while I'm recording? That seems kind of silly, doesn't it? Hmm, maybe if I set it to movie mode. All right, so that's a little bit annoying. I don't think that I can adjust the 
focus while I'm like recording. Like I can't make any adjustments while I'm recording, which is kind of, I mean, I don't know what the good of that is, but the good news is any adjustment that I would make, I would just set the camera to infinity and just go. So hopefully that's what will work for us. Like, all right, so the Sony had more options to adjust things while it was recording. This one, I can adjust it and then record, so. But it has really good image stabilization. Kind of a, I don't know what to do. I don't, why can't I have it both ways? So I'm in the dark now, and I actually took a picture of myself on my phone to show you guys how in the dark I am compared to what the camera is seeing. Yeah, I guess it's not. Ooh, that was a first. Like it had a hard time keeping track of my focus now. So I've got the screen up and I'm looking at it to make sure, like, see how the focus is. I don't know, maybe if it's dark out and I get it to focus on something up close, like say if I get it to focus on my hand. Right, see if I can even get it to focus on my hand. I don't know, it doesn't want to focus on my hand. It's like, I know that you're back there and I want to focus on you. I don't know why it would do that. I don't know, it's, the focus on this camera is definitely strange and it's gonna take some getting used to, but we'll get it. We'll get it one of these days. Jen told me to come outside and film the sunset because it was beautiful, but I don't know, maybe she saw it while it was actually going down because now it's kind of just a normal, like nothingness out there. So one bad thing that has happened tonight is we don't have cable television. We do everything through the internet. And unfortunately that means that we don't have sci-fi. And tonight they're playing Sharknado 3, which a lot of it was filmed at Universal. And we've been watching Twitter and everybody's like tweeting as they're watching it and saying all the fun stuff that's happening in all the different locations that they're filming at. Apparently the, the Rip Ride Rocket had a huge role in this film, which sounds awesome. And uh, also Cabana Bay had a huge role in the film. Uh, I wish we could have watched it. We'll watch it as soon as it shows up on Netflix or, you know, Hulu or something like that. But if you guys watched it, uh, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Also, if you guys think this camera is better than the Sony or at least comparable to the Sony, leave me a thumbs up down below so I can see uh, what you think of the stabilization and the image quality and like the white balance and all that other stuff. Also, I'm in like a very dark room now, so let me know what it's like in the dark locations. Like, is it grainy like the last camera was or is it nice and clear like the Sony was. Leave me comments. And with that, uh, it is my bedtime now. So I'm off to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.